Hello friends, I am here with a new video and in this video I will tear down Photronix high-end mouse. I mean it's a gaming mouse and yes, complete name of this wireless mouse is Photronix POR689 Puck Ergonomic Wireless Mouse. So right now the back side of the mouse is on the screen and the label you can see it's all deteriorated because it's a very old mouse. I have no idea whether it will work or not. So it is having five switches with one scroll. And this is the portion where we are putting AAA battery. Two AAA batteries are required. So you can see the cover of the battery chamber is also broken. Uh, so it's all a retarded mouse. That's why it, uh, it was not being used from long back. And that's why I'm not having any idea whether it will work or not. So let's check it out first if it is okay. So here are two AAA battery. And yeah both the batteries inside the chamber now as soon as i have inserted the battery the led was glowing and suddenly it went down so let me just take out the bluetooth adapter from the back of this mouse i guess this adapter is stuck so i'm here taking it out with the help of tweezers okay it's out now Oh my god, so this adapter is also not in good condition as its outermost cover is, I don't know how it got uh, disassembled or broken, I don't know. So I need to fix this up before inserting it into computer, a USB port. So, so two things I need to fix first, the chamber. Uh, cover that is not an important part but uh, bluetooth adapter is the important one so uh, i will just put a little amount of quick adhesive which will definitely fix it so let me just open it up quickly okay so here it is so first of all i will put a little amount of uh, quick adhesive on the battery chamber cover and then i will keep it apart okay so it's done and now time to fix the adapter so uh, here you need to be careful and you should hold it in the same manner while you are applying adhesive to it because if you will hold it in upside down manner or the reverse manner so the pin might get isolated with this glue and further the conductivity of uh, or the connectivity of those pin to computer USB port will not be proper. So just keep this in mind while applying glue until it get dried up. Just keep the metallic part upward. And of course you should apply a little amount of glue here. Don't apply too much. So this is not going to take too much time uh, because this is quick adhesive. So you can see here this cover. Uh, it's completely dried up anyway we are not having requirement of that cover as of now so we will keep these things apart and we will have a look on this mouse you can see all the switches are working uh, pretty fine and the mouse structure is so good if you will hold it in your hand you will have a proper position to keep your thumb and this is actually a gaming mouse so responses are also very good of this mouse so you can see the clicks and all the keys are uh, so precisely uh, designed so that you could have a proper access to all the buttons i guess this adapter is dried up as well as the cover also dried up anyway we will not use cover at this point of time so let me just bring the laptop to check the mouse whether it is working or not okay now let me just insert the usb adapter into laptop usb port okay so you heard the noise so it is detected i guess the software is also installed because no pop-up came however what i can observe mouse is not working so I'm clicking it continuously, but no response of mouse. Yeah, that's I'm um, using the touchpad, computer touchpad. So don't be confused. Mouse is not working as of now. So let me just check it out. So I have taken out the adapter and inserting it once again. 
no no any response a lot of dogs are barking just ignore those dogs they are doing their own jobs <laughs> okay jokes apart so what i can observe it is not working so i need to go and check the battery i guess battery is too weak uh, let me just check out a couple of things in the laptop whether the usb adapter is getting detected into the device manager of the laptop or not before proceeding uh, just do have a look on this battery so for one battery i'm damn sure that it is good but for another battery it is uh, too old so i'm not sure whether it is the problem of weak battery uh, because the connectivity between uh, mouse and the adapter is not uh, proper that's why uh, that might be the possibility why cursor is not moving uh, on computer screen anyway we will check device manager first so here is the device manager clicking on it and it is opening now need to hold for a moment hold on for a moment and it is loading all the hardware and peripheral information uh, let me just insert the USB adapter okay so now it is inserted and device manager refreshed uh, I'm searching for the adapter. I guess this is not the location. Human interface device is the one where it should get detected. So there are many adapters and peripherals. I have taken out the adapter now. So one is uh, you can see there is only three options remaining. So I will insert it again. The USB adapter. Okay. So I'm getting one more option. So it means adapter is proper. Adapter is getting detected properly into device manager. But the connectivity between mouse and the adapter is not proper. It might be possible due to weak battery strength. This is happening. So I guess I need to grab a couple of new battery to check this out. And that is of course a AAA battery. So here I can see LED. Uh, on the mouse is glowing but it is not glowing properly so this that's why i'm doubting for this uh, and like i'm doubting for the battery so that i will check later so let's leave this part here and we will move to another part of the video in which i am going to tear down this mouse to we will check what is inside this mouse what is inside this sophisticated gaming mouse uh, the high-end mouse so uh, let's move on to that part okay so let's open it up so i have removed battery and the dongle from the back of the mouse and further you need to open uh, this mouse using a sharp tool there is no any screw visible from outside first of all you need to open this middle part of the mouse using a sharp object as i am using in all my tear down videos so here you need to take it out take out the central part of the mouse anyway you need to be careful while using sharp object because uh, it is dangerous for you it may harm you or it may harm the equipment as well so here you need to have a great patience while opening this cover don't put too much pressure on it just open it from a certain point you will come to know where it is attached with the lower body part of the mouse and at that point you can just insert this object and just a bit of twist will help you to take it out let me just make it fast forward to save the time okay so the upper cover came out these are the two clips which is holding the lower body let's keep it apart so there are two screws on the inner part of the mouse and just I have taken out those two screws and this is the uh, cover which I have removed so there are two PCBs one is dedicated for switches and scrolls and other things and other PCB is for the CMOS sensor and LED and those things so uh, upper PCB is connected to lower PCB with a uh, cable let me just take out this cable it's very easy to take it out just having a plug which is very easy to detach from the lower PCB. So let me just take out the lower PCB quickly. Uh, there are two screws on the lower PCB. But before that, I need to take out uh, this screw first. So after this, uh, 
it would be comfortable to take out the lower PCB okay so this is the lower PCB let me just give you a close look of this PCB so this is CMOS sensor and I can observe there is a there is a bit of dirt particle on the nozzle I mean the whole of the CMOS sensor where it is capturing an image the surface image so and that I have explained in my previous video in which I have explained the simple Bluetooth mouse so uh, if you are not aware with the uh, process how mouse is working you can just watch my previous video by clicking on I uh, on the right hand side top corner of the video section current video section you will get the link there and the same thing for this this also I have explained in my previous video how mouse works and how what is the role of this part uh, how this uh, how this part is transmitting or or deviating the light path uh, from from surface to lens and from lens to CMOS sensor so all this has been explained in my previous video uh, like how mouse how a mouse works so uh, the same thing I will tell you again uh, it is uh, if you will click on I you will get the link of that video anyway so I have cleaned up uh, everything mostly the optical part uh, like which is responsible for light reflection and detection of the surface so that the mouse could detect the movement on the surface so th that part is done and now I am fixing the lower PCB uh, I guess I need to adjust it in a proper manner anyway so I will just move it fast forward to save the time it's just the fixing of PCB just placing everything back to its position okay so it is 10x faster now and lower part is completed so let's keep that apart and let's check the upper part so let me just unscrew it first I will just move it fast forward once again to save the time okay so it is done uh, so this is the upper PCB so you can see two switch uh, on the left hand side and front uh, front side is having the left and right clicks and one is scroll button as well so I'm just taking out the lower uh, plastic cover it is having two clips on the front side just I will just remove these two clips I'm just trying to show you properly so you can see these two clips I will just move it apart from the PCB okay now it came out so this is the back side of the PCB uh, let me just focus the camera the main problem is why this mouse was not getting used uh, because of this wheel so whenever I'm scrolling that uh, it was it was not working properly sometimes it is working very rapidly uh, sometimes it is not working at all so uh, I guess there might be some problem with the uh, scroll sensor where I have fixed it now but one more thing uh, one more possibility is there this sensor is and this is scroll wheel is having one rubber uh, covering on the top of the wheel so that that might be one of the uh, reason so sometimes I observe that if you will move the scroll wheel in some mouse so the cover will move but the wheel will not rotate and due to which people is thinking that mouse is not working properly so that's not the problem with mouse that's a problem with the rubber cover which is covering the wheel so after using it for a long time uh, the cover is getting loosened and in summer time that cover will be more loosened and when whenever you will scroll it it might be possible only the cover is moving and not the scroll wheel and here I'm trying to show you the Bluetooth module and this is the antenna section of the Bluetooth module you can see the zigzag copper tracing on the Bluetooth module and now let's come to other part of the PCB so this is the left and right click and these are the two buttons which is uh, positioned for thumb 
so uh, we are using thumb to press it and this is the middle button so this is the click what you will observe from outside the center click this is the button and this is the right click and this is a scroll click the click which is uh, with a scroll so if i will fix it here so now you can see the scroll if you will press the scroll and uh, that will also make a click so i guess you are aware with the functionality of a scroll click anyway that's it uh, in the upper pcb there is nothing much and let's fix up this uh, plastic casing the lower casing oh but before moving further i forgot one thing so i need to glue up the uh, this rubber this rubber casing over the scroll wheel i need to glue it up so i will use uh, no i will not use this fast adhesive to uh, apply on the wheel i will just use fabricol just applying a bit of it on the scroll wheel then i will put uh, the rubber cover over the wheel after putting this uh, glue on it so i will just make it fast forward to save the time okay so applying fabricol properly evenly on over the scroll wheel and just place the rubber cover on the scroll wheel and remove the excess fabricol and fixing everything on its position and now time to fix the upper pcb to the upper part of the body and now the side part of the body again i need to make it fast forward just to show you i have just slow down the video for a moment so this i need to fix it on this part of the mouse the lower chassis okay so just fixing the screw and then fixing the wire fixing the right side right part of the mouse so now it is completed just fix the front and the back screw and now time to fix this middle part so just uh, you need to place it properly on its position and apply a bit of pressure on it and it will be fixed with a click sound uh, I, I guess two or three click sound was there so it is okay now mouse is properly fixed and now i need to purchase new AAA battery to check it out anyway i'm placing the battery once again to check it out however i guess this is worthless for this time because i need to grab new battery and i need to check this with a new battery however i guess you got internal hardware details of this mouse how hardware are arranged inside this high-end gaming mouse uh, so working functionality and everything is same but a little bit of design and little bit of add-on uh, of extra buttons on the mouse is making it attractive and so easy to use for gaming and uh, some other tasks like like graphic related works so that's it in this video and if you found this video informational and knowledgeable please do like this video share this video with the needy people uh, so that they could get help from this video and subscribe my channel for the latest updates and guys one more important thing do press the bell icon and enable the notification to get quickly notified about my new videos see you in the next video bye bye